well at home and staying safe. For today's French lesson, we're going to go through PowerPoint, and this PowerPoint's got sounds on, so please turn on your speaker. Because of a lockdown, parents and students can have access for free to Student Pearson's ebook. So for that, you need to click on that uh, hyperlink in blue, then click ebook, tick you've read the terms and conditions, and then go on to Dynamo 2 so you can view the book as if you got the book in front of you. Uh, in your exercise book, if you've got your exercise book with you, please write down the date, title, lundi le 27 avril, the title is Et toi, qu'est-ce que tu fais en ligne? And you, what do you do online? If you haven't got your exercise book with you, you can uh, use uh, an exercise book that you can use only for French, or you can uh, type your notes and work on a Word document and then save this into your documents. So for the journal activity, this is what I want you to do. Uh, dans votre cahier, liez les pronoms je, tu, il, elle, on, nous, vous, il, elle, avec les verbes jouer, which is to watch, regarder, to look, and listen, écouter. Uh, so I want you to match the pronoun je with the correct form of joue, regarde, écoute. Et voilà les réponses. Okay, so it'll be je joue for I play, je regarde for I watch, and j'écoute to be j'ai apostrophe écoute for I listen, and so on. And um, the pronunciation of um, E, E, S, E, and E, N, T are exactly the same. Écoutez, listen, hein? je joue, tu joues, il, elle, on joue, and il, elle, joue, the plural. So, so the E, E, S, E, and E, N, T are exactly the same pronunciation. So that applies for jouer, regarder, and écouter. And you can see the pattern as well. The je is all the time ending by E for verb and ER verb. For tu is all the time uh, yes. Il, elle, on, it's an E at the end. Nous, meaning we, it's uh, O and S. Vous, meaning you plural or you formal, it's EZ. And il, elle is all the time ENT. Now, today we're going to look at my digital lifestyle, something you already started working with, Miss Kerwin, and we're going to recap pre knowledge and working verbs. Homework for next fresh lesson, which I believe is on Thursday, I want to learn in point de départ from parce qu'ils sont ridicules up to bête. So, I mean, because they are ridiculous up to stupid. So we're going to have a, a quizzing on first. So um, now oh, I want you to open your uh, textbook, ouvrez le livre à la page 59, open your book on page 59, and we are going to do the listening number five, page 59. Répondez en français. Écoute et écris les questions en français, qu'est-ce qu'on te demande? So that means in French, write, listen, and write down questions, what are you being asked? Et voilà les réponses. Here is the answers. Number one, quand est-ce que tu joues à des jeux vidéo? When do you play video games? Two, où est-ce que tu joues? Where do you play? Three, avec qui est-ce que tu joues? Who do you play with? Four, comment est-ce que tu écoutes de la musique? How do you listen to music? Five, pourquoi est-ce que tu aimes écouter comme ça? Why do you like listening like that? And uh, qu -ce que, number six, qu'est-ce que tu as écouté hier? What did you listen to yesterday? Now, I want you to do the exercise number four, exercise number four, page 59, page 59. Um, Décris ta vie numérique. Mentionne la télé, la musique et les jeux. Écris un paragraph. So, meaning in English, describe your digital life. Mention about the TV, music and games. Uh, write a paragraph. So, there you have uh, an example, started with a model, starting with habitude. And for the... Um, for the uh, work uh, in the past tense, beginning with hier, j'ai regardé, écouté, joué, please use the uh, help at the bottom of that PowerPoint. Okay, so I want you to uh, use the model. D'habitude, j'ai la télé sur ma tablette, dans ma chambre, j'adore les comédies, comme, and so on. So I want you to use that to write your paragraph. Now, I want to submit uh, your, this paragraph, your writing. Okay, through some homework. If you've chosen to complete the work on a computer, then upload the file you have created. If you chose to write this, you can take a photo of your work and upload this instead. 